Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It is Color Me Bad Lynn back with another Dear Color Me Q&A. So welcome back. If this is your first time, welcome to my channel. I am again Color Me Bad Lynn. I am a beauty professional among many, many other things. And on my channel, we mainly talk about the fragrances that are in my collection. We also talk about natural skincare, a little bit of makeup, a little bit about hair, all things beauty will tap into it. Uh, we will also talk about love, relationships, romance, family issues, a little bit about dating and faith and whatever else you want to talk about. So make sure you leave comments below or send me an email, which is inside of my YouTube channel. Both of the emails that you see there, they both go to the same place. So feel free to send co Dear Color Me questions as you so feel free to do. All right. So let's get into it. I'm really excited about this question. We're going to make it really brief and short, but I did want to come on and answer this question. Um, it's kind of like a three part question, um, but we're just going to use two of the parts because the other one is kind of, it's a little sensitive, little sore subject, and I'm re not ready to dibble and dabble into that particular topic just yet. All right. So let's get into it. Um, the question reads, Dear Color Me, and the person that sent the question, we're going to leave them anonymous. Dear Color Me, how do you feel about matching traumas? And part two of that question is, and how soon should you share your story with others? All right, I'm going to read this again. The question reads, Dear Color Me, how do you feel about matching traumas? And part two of that question is, and how soon should you share your story with others? I thought that was an extremely great question. Um, nowadays, you find, um, you know, when you meet people, that's one of the first things that kind of comes up through conversation and getting to know someone is what they've been through in their childhood who did this to them, when it happened, how it affected them, so on and so forth. Um, I don't think that it is healthy to share um, deep wounded uh, issues and traumas about yourself and your family to people that you don't know. Um, that is my opinion. Um, I, the reason why I feel that way is because even in relationships that have longevity to them, um, you will find that as soon as you get into a debate with someone who likes to fight and argue, that they'll bring up everything that you ever told them that you've gone through in life that hurt you. Um, and what does that do that hurts you even more? Um, now, when you open yourself up to love, you you become vulnerable so you be you become vulnerable and that means you're allowing someone to come into your life and not only get to know you possibly grow into love um but also hurt because you know sometimes we like hurt each other without even knowing it it's just a part of life right um but as far as getting to know someone initially trauma bonding for me is a no-go um, the reason why I say that um, is because it's an unhealthy way to make a connection with another human being. Um, the, you know, that person may not be strong enough to carry what you've been through. You're, what you've been through may be too heavy for them. Um, you know, uh, they may not need to know all of your history of why you are the way that you are as soon as you meet them. Now, I think that as time goes on in the relationship, um tidbits of who you are and what you've been through yes but to give a whole story book of why who what when and where when you first meet someone um is a bit much um because what a lot of people that do that do everybody that they meet um or that they come in close contact with that they want to be intimate with or have been intimate with they give that they dump that off on everybody they meet um, you can't unpack your baggage with everybody. Um, your story is not for everybody. Um, you know, especially when there are people that come into your life um, to hurt and harm you. Um, the word of God states they come to steal, kill and destroy. And so you have to be careful not to cast your pearls among swine. 
meaning that there are just some things that have happened to you or for you um there is the information is not for everybody it's not for social media um it's not for your co-workers it's not for the lady next door um it's not for every man or every woman that you meet to tell them your entire story um and trauma bonding so i'm not for trauma bonding i'm not i don't agree with it i think it's a very very unhealthy dysfunctional way to start a relationship whether it's just a friendship or whatever the case may be now there are certain situations and circumstances that will come about as time progresses where you you're going to unfold and you're going to start unpacking some of that baggage you're going to start unpacking some of that past hurt and those past traumas when you know that you can trust that person on certain levels but to give it all to them right away when you first meet them I feel is a no-go because a lot of times what people do is, especially if you're an, an empath and you're dealing with a narcissistic person or someone with a narcissistic disorderly behavior, they do that on purpose. That's how they get you. They get you um, by giving you, uh, trying to trauma bond with you so that you immediately get emotionally connected to them uh, while they're love bombing you. And before you know it, you're in an abusive situation. So there's a lot of manipulation that comes along with that. And manipulation is witchcraft. Um, so you got to be really, really careful with that. Um, again, I'm a no go on the trauma bonding when you first meet someone. Um, to address the second part of that question, again, we kind of tied it into, I kind of answered it all at one time. How soon should you start to share? Um, those personal things with people um, there's no time limit on that you know um, some relationships uh, you meet a person and you click instantly it's God ordained and you know that you can trust this person with your heart or that's what you feel in your heart and we all know that if the longer you are on this earth you've connected with people and you thought you could trust them with their information and you couldn't you found out later on you couldn't and that happens but we do have to learn how to trust again and learn again. And that's a process that a lot of times needs counseling. It is okay to get counseling. Um, it's kind of hard to heal without it, guys. Um, so, you know, so that's not something you can put a time limit on. That's just like telling someone how long they should be engaged. How long they should date someone before they, they get serious or how long, you know, that's up to the individuals that are involved. Some people like to be engaged for 20 and 30 years or some people like to be in relationships for 20 and 30 years. Some people don't, you know, it doesn't take that long. It just depends on the situation and everything is personalized for you, your lifestyle and where you are in your life when you meet um, your life partner. Uh, you know, some things go real fast and it's like, let's do this. Some things don't. Um, but yeah, there's no time li limit on when you can start or you feel you should start sharing and talking about certain things with people, um, you know, that you feel that you can trust. Just be careful with that uh, because I've experienced in the past, um, even within my own marriage, things that I've shared um, and then, you know, that those things get thrown back at you at a very, very weak and vulnerable time. Um, and that's very hurtful. Uh, and, you know, when you open your heart to someone and you give your life to them, especially when you're married to them, that's the person that can hurt you the most because they're the closest to you. Um, and so even in those situations, uh, you know, you could be married to somebody for for. 10 20 years and still not know every single thing about them and things that have happened to them because it takes time to unpack it takes time to feel comfortable enough uh, for a person to come to you and tell you about an uncle who may have touched them when they were little or about a stepfather who may have fondled them or a stepmother who may have touched them inappropriately or that they were bullied in school and had thoughts of, you know, taking their own life or um, that they were a bully. <clears throat> um, uh, that, you know, they did X, Y, and Z when they were growing up. Um, you know, there, there's a lot that goes into that. Um, and so you have to take your time with that. Because like I said, you can't trust everyone with your information when you first meet them. Uh, and 
um, I, I dealt with a situation um, that taught me that um, even after you marry someone, you never fully know a person 100%. Um, you just don't because we're constantly changing. We're constantly growing. Um, and you learn things, you know, you, sometimes you find out people been lying to you. Sometimes you find out, you know, you, there's so much that happens in relationships. Um, and you just have to be willing to, to weather the storm in those situations and whether or not the pros outweigh the cons in situations like that. But yeah, I totally disagree with matching, um, traumas and trauma bonding and giving all of your history and information um, with another human being that you just don't know well enough. You just don't know. Uh, even after you say, I do, you still go through a learning process. You still go through um, development all through your relationships, all through your marriage. Um, you still go through those processes. And you'll notice one day after you've been with somebody for four or five years all of a sudden they will share something with you um that you never knew you never you know thought that something like that may have happened to them in life um and that will explain why oh so i get it this is why you don't like this or you you like things a certain way or this is why you you're so negative about this or you're always so upbeat and try to keep everybody happy around you and things of that nature so there are different ways that form our personalities and who we are as human beings and as you progress in relationships if things get that far you learn about each other as you grow and you learn together and so yeah no I would I, I would never recommend dumping your traumas onto someone that you're just getting to know starting to date and things like that. There has to be a level of tr trust there in order for you to share that um, that information um, with other people. Um, I'll even tell you that what I've started to do now that I normally do um, when I meet somebody. They'll always ask, you know, they a lot of times they'll know I've been married before or whatever the case may be. And I would share some of the things that I've been through that I went through. OK, uh, I stopped doing that. I stopped doing that. I stopped doing that. Um, you have to have some part of your life that is protected. You don't know the motives behind why people are trying to get to know you and get information from you. It could be just to get information because they're nosy. It could be just to gain information to go back and, and tell <clears throat> whomever, um, you know, so you never really know who you're talking to until you start to get to know a person. And again, even after that, you know, that, that level of trust has to be earned and it has to be uh, gained and it has to be a continuous, um, a continuous work in progress and keeping those levels of trust with people. So, yeah, I'm totally against trauma bonding. I think it's horrible, a horrible, horrible idea. I think it's like I said, as you get to know people, you begin to open up more and you begin to share, um, you know, it, and that's that's the best way to be. I'll give you an example of how how that feels when somebody dumps all their stuff off of you. Have you ever started like a new job somewhere and you've always got that one person on the job um, that's probably just got hired on? before you and they're always the person that walks up to you and is the nicest to you uh and um they tell you everything that's going on all the business is going on and before you know you know everything about them from birth all the way up to the present time and this is this is what they do to you that's how you feel like i didn't ask for that i just i just work here I just showed up so so I don't get fined. So you gotta be careful. <laughs> you got you gotta be careful with that. You know, you, you gotta be careful with that. You have to make sure that you're with somebody that can that can that can carry you and can and help you through those things before you start sharing them them with people that you don't know. So yeah, I wanted to come on and share that because I noticed that a lot of people do that. They you know they tell you about the the daddy and the mama and the and the baby mama and the ex-wife and 
you know, get into great detail. I'm not saying don't share certain things, but just get all the way in depth with it. And I've done that before with people I thought I could trust and then later on found out I couldn't trust them. And so that's why you kind of want to guard your heart. You want to guard your heart when meeting someone, even if you feel like boom, boom, it's the one. Just because you feel like it's the one doesn't mean that it is. And so really, really be careful with that and guard your heart. Okay. Um, I just wanted to come on and answer that question. I thought it was a beautiful question uh, because it is really, really a common thing now. Um, but you have to be careful with it, especially because we live in a narcissistic society. Um, you hear that word getting thrown around a lot because most of us have been to counseling and we know what to look for. We've been in narcissistic relationships. You may be, we may be narcissists ourselves and we don't know it. Um, but we have to make sure um, that we protect ourselves, especially if you have children and you have a family. You know, nobody needs to know everything about you. It's, it's not necessary. You know, they have to earn that. Uh, okay. And so I just wanted to, again, come on and share that. Hopefully that helps someone. Um, trauma bonding is not the way to get to know someone. It's not. It, it really isn't. Allow a person to share things with you as, as time goes along. Yeah, I think that's the best way. Organically, you know organically is the best way so we just wanted to come on and answer that question i hear a lot of people again talking about that um and i think it needs to be addressed on more than one platform um so that the message goes across the the word the world the universe um people need to know and hear that the more you hear something the more it begins to resonate with you um and then it, it'll sit with you and say hey you know what I have noticed that when I share a lot of information with someone before I know it, they are going around telling my business to everybody. Uh, and now it's totally twisted. And now I'm this and I'm that. And, you know, so you want to make sure that you keep something for yourself. You have to keep something for yourself. OK. All right. I want to thank you guys for tuning in again. If you have any questions for a dear color me, make sure you send me an email. I'll be more than happy um, to come on and answer you on YouTube on our YouTube channel or I will message you I will message you first back uh, privately and make sure that it's okay for me to share uh, on my YouTube channel and so hopefully that'll help someone out there um, I learned through trial and error not to share so much about me um, and learn how to protect my heart and guard my heart you got to go out your ear gates your eye gates got to guard that got to guard it you have to and you got to guard your heart you have to you have to keep this sacred okay so i hope this again helps someone make sure if you like this video you hit the like button make sure you hit that notification bell so each and every time i upload a video you will be notified make sure you share this video if you know of anybody that is a, a chronic trauma bonder share this with them share this with them and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Love to have you over here in Color Me Bad Nation. We're doing great things. I thank you again. God bless you guys. Peace.